Glen Morangy Bacalta Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching Whiskey Review number 183. Glen Morangy Bacalta Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Uh, this is the 2017 private edition, uh, again called Bacalta, which I believe means baked in the sun. Um, now, this is a uh, Madeira wine finish, so it's likely the 10 year old standard uh, Glenmorangie that has been extra matured using Portuguese island of Madeira, uh, their special. Uh, local wine, also known as Madeira, using a cask that has matured uh, the Madeira wine, and then they actually baked it. So it's interesting. It says here, baked Momsy Madeira casks. Now, um, Glenmorangie Bacalta is a single malt whiskey, single malt Scotch whiskey matured in ex bourbon casks, uh, and extra matured in former uh, former Momsy Madeira wine casks brimming with baked fruit and sun-soaked syrupy sweetness. Uh, master blender, Dr. Bill Lumsden. Yes, this is his creation. Now, I'm going to pour that into the Glen Cairn here. And uh, get that poured. There we are. That's about 20, 25 milliliters. And we'll put that back there. And we're going to let that air for just a moment or two. And uh, while we do that, well, here I have actually some uh, Madeira. Now, I couldn't find any Malmsey Madeira. So this is not quite, let's say, not quite the same. Um, it's a different it's a different grape varietal. Um, however, this one doesn't list the, the varietal, in fact. Um, this says it's the uh, the richest style. Uh, rich normally normally means sweet, and in fact, the sweetest Madeira is usually the Momsey. So, in fact, uh, this may actually be uh, Momsey, um, but it doesn't say so. And uh, this is at least, let's see, uh, three years old, it says, and uh, reading the Spanish, there's chocolate flavors, etc. Um... A nice accompaniment to uh, fruit cakes, cheese, um, chocolate puddings, and a nice after dinner drink. Uh, Madeira is kind of like port or sherry, and there is some um, uh, some distilled spirit added to the uh, the uh, the vat as they uh, mix it together. So it's like it's like wine plus brandy. But the white version of brandy, which, which uh, unaged brandy, and then it's aged uh, in oak casks. Anyway, this is from Blandy, so let's pour a little bit of that one in here. Uh, and yes, you're wondering why there's a white mark on on this, and that is just because uh, I don't want to uh, just show that uh, that uh, logo because it's not from Glenmorangie. All right, so um, let's have a look at this uh, Madeira wine first. Uh, now, I believe that is going to be a, um, a whitish grape, and so you get a nice kind of a, um, uh, what color, a brassy, a brassy tone. Not really a reddish hue there, okay? And um, how about the legs? It's got some nice legs to it very slow and that is partially related to the alcohol percentage so I don't know if you can see the legs coming through there but they're quite slow and the consensus from my family here is that uh, this is pretty amazing stuff and it smells like a fortified wine so it's not unlike port or sherry I'm reminded of wine gums. Let's try a little bit. Mm. 
Hmm. So sweet. Just a hint of tartness to balance things out. Candy sweetness. Wine sweetness. Wine gums. The finish actually is just like gummy bears or uh, wine gums. Um, that's a favorite of my mother-in-law, in fact. It's not something that you would want to drink uh, with your meal. You would want to drink it afterwards. Uh, Madeira. This is from Blandy's. Let me have a little bit of coffee here. And a bit of water. Wash down the coffee. All right, let's go on to the task at hand here, and that is Glenmorangie Bacalta. I'm so happy I was able to get this. In fact, in Korea, only 100 bottles of Bacalta came into the country. And all of those bottles were snapped up by uh, whiskey bars and hotels. Classic Glenmorangie nose. And yet there's a little bit of that kind of a, a sweetness that you don't usually get from the 10 year old, for example. It's also very heady on the nose. Um, it really asserts itself. It's oaky and um, a little bit of fruitiness to it. Very um, ginger and cinnamon forward, a little bit of vanilla. Now, I should have tasting notes here, pardon me. Uh, Glenmorangie Bacalta Apricot Pastry, uh, Frangipan, Warm Marzipan and Peach, kind of a cakey kind of a scent. All right, and onto the palate then. Cheers, everyone. This one also has a really big, fruity, slightly salty, um, slightly, slightly peated flavor that comes through. So I'm getting fruits, I'm getting apricots and peaches and oranges. I'm also getting um, Catherine Wheels, uh, the licorice candy. And I write here, pastry selection, almond croissant, apricot jam. Uh, it gets dry as you go on. There's a wine reduction that comes through. And let's try the second go here. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's really got a, a a peaty backbone here. Of course, I don't mean Isla peat. I'm talking about the peat that the majority of distillers use. Uh, the majority of distillers use when they dry their barley, uh, even to a small degree. And that just adds a certain element and it's really noticeable here. And I write here for the second go, you get more tart sweetness. Um, and I write here, there is a mild peat at mid palate. Uh, and it gives just a nice spicy flavor to it. This also is just incredible. Really nice. The finish, I'm getting kind of a hot marzipan apricot cake um, with a little bit of Madeira syrup and some vanilla ice cream coming through here. Uh, and it really carries quite a long time also. <clears throat> I also write here that it's quite dry in the finish. There's something kind of... Um, Kind of a huffiness to it so when you swallow hmm. 
Mm. Ooh, it's potent. Kind of like Vicks Vapo Rub. You get that sort of sort of a uh, um, mentholic, not really mentholic, but slightly mentholic, um, slightly fruity, smoky kind of a, a waft coming through your nose. Smoky in the wood more so than peat, okay? And yet there are subtle wafts of peat there. Let's add some water now. I'm gonna add a good two and a half to three milliliters to this. Whoops, wrong cup. Now I'm gonna go back to the Madeira for just a minute. Definitely has that fortified wine scent. And I, I get a little hint of that here as well. But it's really toned down. Mm-hmm. And Madeira, at least this one, is kind of like 50-50 sweet sour. So it is very tart on the mouth and yet sweet at the same time. Cleanse my palate a little bit. All right. I get some Actually, a little bit more of the uh, wine-induced flavors here. So a little bit more of a white grapiness to it. Still very malty, still very Glenmorangie, still very much a peachy, apricot, uh, marzipan, orange type of flavor. But it just has that, that added element of the, uh, the Madeira wine being... Um, Put alongside. So smooth. Just the right amount of everything there. The fruit, the grain, and the peat. It's very nice. Hmm. Interestingly, not quite as strongly uh, smoky as um, without water and a little bit more grain sweetness to it, uh, barley sweetness. Um, now people talk about barley sugar, I have no idea what that tastes like so I can't really comment on that but there's a grain sweetness that you get let's say from uh, from a bowl of, a bowl of cereal um, be it um, with oatmeal and wheat flakes and etc. Okay, now uh, finish. Very long, uh, very fruity. A little bit less uh, oaky and marzipan compared to, say, the ten-year-old, uh, but much more fruity than that. Hmm. Um, Now my notes for the the calta with water uh, knows I write more fruit, especially yellow fruits like mango, peppery, uh, the palate um, riper peach, um, more almond, of course smoother, not quite as dry. Maybe a hint of white chocolate there, and the finish almost no dr no dryness at all. Apricot. Uh, very long in the finish, sweet and um, something else I can't read. Anyway, that's okay. Anyway, so a really great whiskey here from Glenmorangie. Mmm. 
I think I like that as much as the To Sale, which was the 2015 special edition. Um, uh, very, very nice, very different. Uh, lovely expression from Good Morning. Great job on that one to uh, Dr. Bill Lumsden. I uh, doubt you'll watch this. If you do, thank you very much for making that and look forward to whatever comes next. Uh, the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glen Morangy Belcalta is going to be 92 out of 100. Uh, it's very smooth for 46%. It's a great Glen Morangy. Uh, this is like Tain and Nectar Door uh, put together, but on fire. Um, so one upping Tain and one upping Nectar Door, which are kind of their um, their their focus, the focus of the um, Extra matured range is Nectar Door, and the focus of the travel retail market is Tain, and this is definitely a one-up on those. Why do I have the label reversed for you? There we go. So thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for what's coming next. Again, that was 92 out of 100 for Glenmorangie Bacalta. Next coming up is going to be something different. I haven't chosen yet. Make sure you watch, and if you're Korean and you're watching... Don't forget about Whiskey Whistle Korea, a new channel on YouTube just for you in Korean language, spoken by me. Uh, wait a minute, 제가 한국어를 uh, 좀 충분히 할수 있으니까 그렇게 했죠. Uh, I speak Korean just well enough that I can do that, so I did it. And I'm going to keep doing it because it's fun for me, and hopefully it's fun for you too. Alright, take care everybody, and goodbye.